Hi guys, welcome back to another Forge campaign creation here. Well, it's not a campaign, this is just a Forge uh, mode here. Helldivers at Home, so I think this is based on Helldivers 2, right? Uh, Helldivers at Home Barrage, I should say. Made by XX Redacted, four players, I'm only playing it solo. Use with bootleg Helldivers game mode. We've got that all links down in the description. Gives you some instructions there. We're going to jump into this and see how we go. Okay, here we go. Based on elimination, attrition game mode. Looks like we've got a bit of atmosphere going on there, which I quite like. Boom, okay, we are in here. I guess we've got some... Do we need some points to unlock some of these? I'm not sure. We've got some... A large host of weaponry here. Over here to the bit where we drop, I guess. Is he on our team? He doesn't look like he's on our team. I'm not entirely sure what these things do, so let's hit one. I'm guessing we need to... Oh no, so now we've got a point down there. So in the op uh, instructions it said to grab one of these to start your drop, which is, oh my god, we've got a door shutting. This is incredible. I've not seen this before. It actually feels like we're getting in a proper drop pod. And we are firing straight down. This is awesome. Wow. That was incredible. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know where he came from. Whoa. Wow. Uh, okay, I guess we make our way over here. We've got a lot of enemies fighting some uh, allied a uh, AI. Oh, this is supposed to be a striker sidekick, but it is definitely it's definitely not. I'm not sure what's going on there. So it does say BR down in the bottom right. It shouldn't should not be a BR. It should be the campaign pistol. Taking out a few of these. I'm not entirely sure what we've got to do. It says operator. That's the checkpoint there. So it says pick up this disruptor. We're going to try and take out a few more enemies first though. Um, I just heard a drop pod coming in. Or phantom I suppose it actually is. It's dropping off in the distance. So let's pick this up now. And now we've got another waypoint over here to attack. Will this blow up? Okay, yeah, it stopped. Hack a couple more objectives here. That is taking a long time. Haven't got time for that. Oh, it, it, we don't have to hold it anyway. It's still, still charging. Okay, I'm liking this so far. The frames per second are extremely... Whoa! Extremely uh, inconsistent. Hack this other point. Whilst another banished drop comes. Uh, so is this one still hacking? Yep. So that's now hacked. Power level is at number two out of four. So attack this thing again. There we go. Now we hack these ones. You've got to do them one at a time. And in all honesty, I haven't really... I know I said this in my last video. I haven't been making a lot of Halo videos because I've just been playing... A lot of Helldivers too. Uh, it is just the most incredible game. I know a lot of you guys are probably on Xbox and haven't got the opportunity to play Hell Helldivers too, uh, but it is it is very incredible. Now we've got a kill streak as well, which is awesome how they've incorporated that. You kind of get a bit of a combo thing going on Helldivers too. So this has got a lot of the right elements to it, that's for sure. Now we've got a new waypoint way out in the distance. Oh, we've got a drop. The atmosphere here is incredible. Done a great job there. It just makes me think. Oh, we got a boss. Just makes me think of what the art of the possible could be. Should 343 get a bit more creative with their with their development in the next Halo game, or making some kind of a multiplayer expansion to this? The, the possibilities are truly limitless, especially with what we've already got uh, with the Forge creations. Wow, I mean, I'm getting under 60 frames per second there. So uh, some optimization probably needs to be had on uh, on this game mode. Because I'm, I'm running a 3070 and a high-end CPU as well. Oh, I don't know what I've just done there. Uh, all right, I'm not <laughs> entirely sure what happened there. Oh, I think a drop pod just landed on me. 
I think that was an allied drop pod, so that is again very hell divers. <laughs> Here we go. Love this bit of the of the concept. I don't want to detach the turret because I'm a bit worried it will glitch out. Dropping in, that is so cool. So cool. So I've got the bulldog here, but it's saying it's a shock rifle in the bottom right. And uh, it's acting like a shock rifle as well, which is a bit weird. So I'm not sure what they've done with the weapons here. What are we doing here? Don't know. I guess we're just defending the point. That is such a weird weapon. Running out of ammo now as well. I tell you what, they've caught the uh, franticness of Helldivers here as well, actually, and it's not—it's not, it's not um, overbearing like you often get on Helldivers. Oh crap! Now it now it might be. Don't know why I can't hit this one. There we go. He's down. I'm kind of trapped here. We've got a hunter this side. Hunter this side. Let's run this way. Get out of there. Alright, we managed to find a turret. Just got to take these last two guys down. Um, shouldn't be too much of a problem here, hopefully. I stand corrected because we are still struggling and we ran completely out of ammo. We killed one. Killed one. How do I get in there? Guessing to get in there, we may need to break that. Has that opened the doors? If it does, that is so awesome. I've not seen that before. Wow. Full of campaign weapons as well. What more do I need? There we go. Right, took him down. Objective complete. There's now a new objective in here, which I guess is to load up. Investigate this. Current objective is to survive. Oh my god. Alright, this is ridiculous. Okay. Uh, I picked the wrong weapon up as well. I need to get rockets or shotgun or something. Chain them in here. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> what the hell? Right. Could have done with a better... Oh, I mean, they're still coming. I've got no more. I've got no more grenades. Run. For some reason, they all kind of ran away. We might hop on a mongoose to see if we just... Oh, it's a rocket one. Here we go. We might actually survive this, you know. They're just coming at us in a chain. This is a bit like the bugs on Helldivers. <laughs> I love this. Let's see, here they come again. Second wave. Ah, uh, they've all died. They all died uh, based on a timer. That was so cool. Now what? Outpost. Alright. This is awesome. I should have probably stocked up on ammo, but it's a bit late now. Gun Goose is really helping make short work of the boss. There we go. Right, that Gun Goose took out the majority of the first little wave there. There's still tons more around here though. I guess the objective is to just clear everyone out here, like we just did previously. Sniper's up here. So the good thing about Halo doing this and not it being Helldivers uh, Helldivers, there is a lot of variety of enemies, but they are all very mindless. They just charge you, basically. Um, and they just have different weak points and different weapons. In Halo, whilst they don't, they, well, they don't all just charge you, they use, uh oh, we're blowing up. They use various uh, methods of uh, whether it be hiding behind cover, whether it be sitting in their ranks. Obviously, they've got their own weak points. It is a very refreshing oh, take. You 
now it's getting a bit hairy. Oh, hi. That's not a good sign. Lucky we still got the campaign. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Can you just die, mate? Or let me out of there. Uh, I thought that might have been the overshield. What was that? Oh, active camera. That's not very helpful here. So he knows I'm here, but he won't fire at me because I've got camo. Oh, yeah, there we go. Got him in the back. That was what I was trying to do. I've got an allied helper, have I? Yeah. So I'm not entirely sure how that uh, AI is working. I think that, guy, that guy's just killed him, but the AI did seem to take out a lot of the other enemies, which is very helpful. Objective complete. Move on to the next one. This is so cool. It's funny how just a little twist on the gameplay uh, mechanics can make such a huge difference. Seems like they're either having an infight or we've got AI help up here. Which we do. Recover generator. Under siege. So yeah, just a tiny twist on the gameplay makes such a big difference. I was getting very tired of playing Halo which is why I had a couple of weeks break but now playing this is just like oh yeah this is why Halo is amazing the gunplay the uh, movement the mechanics is just uh, it's just perfect in my eyes for the FPS pick that up I think oh we do have to operate it attack this with the gun that we picked up and then hack this point so we are still under attack oh quite a lot of attack as well Man, I can't see him through that grass. Right, we've hacked the console at least. The new objective is to just survive and there was a hell of a lot of enemies around. I'm not sure we're going to be able to... What is this grass thing? It's very annoying. <laughs> oh, oh, right. It's another wave of these things. We can jump here, here but so can they. This is ridiculous. We've run out of ammo. We are in a lot of trouble here. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> oh my god. So we do, at least we know that given a certain amount of time, and all these guys are just gonna die. Uh, because I've got now got literally no ammo. At uh, all health. <gasps> oh, and that, that ended it! No! So that was absolutely fantastic. I'm going to probably play that again just for my own, um, you know, enjoyment off camera. But I had 25 lives there and I only died a couple of times, I think. I'm wondering when you get to that survive mode, if you die, uh, you have to have AI to spawn back in. Or perhaps, you know, if all your AI die or, you know, your friends up to four people, uh, that will end the game, which I guess is what happened then. Uh, which is a bit of a shame because I was so enjoying that one. It's super hard and challenging and just really refreshing to play a new twist on the Halo classic gameplay. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next video.